Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one up tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a simple CLI in Julia. So Julia gives some very nice packages that allows you to build your own CLI. So you have AdPass, just like the normal AdPass from Python. You have Fire from Google, and then you have Docs, right? So this FireGL allows you to convert any function in Julia into a CLI. So let's see what I mean by that. So I'm just going to create a simple function. So I'm saving it inside my file called Basic CLI. So, if I create a simple function, so function, then let's call it as let's say grid. That's what the function does. It takes a name, the function takes a name, and then bring with end. Right? And what does it do with the name? It's going to print the name. So, print line, the particular name. So, hello, my name. So, that's a simple function. Right? So, for me to run this particular function, I have to just call this function as a read. Then I'll supply the name as let's say just to save it. And then if I run this here, so to run it is going to be Julia, then basic CLI shooter is going to run and then give me the result. Hello, Jesse. Very simple, right? So that is a simple function. In case I want to convert this particular function into a CLI, Fire gives you the option of making it very, very simple. So to, to work with it, you just need to install the particular package. So let's go with go to your Julia prompts. Then switch to your package mode, then add fire. This is for Julia 1.0 in Apple's, right? It's going to work. So I go with add fire, it's going to add it perfectly for us in a very simple way. Now, so with the adding of the package, I've already installed it. So just I've already installed it here. So it's one away. You can just go straight away with this particular same function we have. Then just going to bring using at the top, right? You're going to import this particular package. So using fire, that's all you need to do. Then you bring the fire macro. So add main. So the add main is going to convert this particular function now into a simple CLI. So because of that, we don't need this grid, right? This add main is making it look like this, right? It's calling the entire function when you run it as a CLI. Very simple. So now let's run it and see how it's going to be. So you see that we had it as simple like that. But now I'm not going to be running it. I have to add. I'm going to add a particular name there. Instead of calling it the previous one like this, we don't need this one anymore. So let's save it and then let's try it. So the same Julia tab dash help is going to list how to use this particular function. So there's no do documentation found. Grid is a function referring to this particular grid. Then it's going to give us the positional argument with name, right? With the string. Very simple. And it's going to give us the location of that particular file, right? Very simple, very interesting. Now let's see how to run it. So to run it, it's just going to be the same Julia that we have. Then I'm going to supply the name. So let's give it as a name like John. Then it's going to run it. Hello, John, right? So you don't need to call the grid. You don't need to do this. If you do it like that, it's going to give you an error because he's seeing it as he's seeing this entire stuff as the argument just passed. It's supposed to pass. Very simple, very easy. Now, in case you want to do something like this, read John and that. Or do something else then you have to create another function so with this particular stuff let's create another function let's call it as at me this function is going to add something right so let's say this function is going to add some numbers so number then you can define you specific and define the particular number you want so et jar. then let's make this plot of data to accept all kinds of integers then i'm just going to bring my end here right so print line then adding numbers these are the numbers that you are adding then i want to print all the numbers that we have so we're going to do by right now very simple then let's pretend the result to print it to be sum of that particular number that i have supplied very simple so this is a simple function so with this option now, because I have more than one function, right, I can use and be specific and specify the particular kind of function I need when I'm running it. So let's try it and see. So I'm just going to go with Julia Basic CLI. That dash help. So now, if I go with the dash dash help, it's going to list the two different functions for me. So we have, see, grid and then add. Very simple and very nice, right? So now I can be specific and specify which particular function I want to do. So more than one function is going to specify them. Less than one function or less than two is going to just 
give you that argument without passing it right so you do this so if i want to greet yes i want to greet my friends on youtube friends so greet friends it's going to see the entire family as a string and then give me the result so hello friends on youtube very simple right so i'm specifically telling that use this particular function again in case i want to use the other one for the ad so it's going to be my julia basic cli then let's add some numbers so since we are using a splat operator not accept any form of integer so let's call it 20 20 30 50 60 right so let's see that has converted them right to add the numbers so 20 30 50 60 and then added them with one value for us very simple very interesting with this particular function so fire allows you to convert any function you have into a cli so let's add some interesting stuff to it right so in case you want to add a doc documentation to it it's very simple you should have to add a documentation to the function you place it at the top of it so let's paste a, a documentation here so that's a simple a grid function right so this is going to be for our documentation for this particular function not for this but for this right then let's plus this another one so say add multiple numbers multiple numbers so this is how to add documentation to it so you can come back to my julia basic cli with help i'm going to list all the particular functions available so you have grid right and then you have add right so if i be specific to the grid let's go with grid help going to list how to use it so this is a simple grid function there's a documentation here giving us the positional argument and then the name very interesting very simple so let's add one more function to it and let's go i'm just going to add a simple function to reverse something so let's call it as reverse a string right i'm going to reverse any string that was applying it's going to be at me then my function that is going to reverse a string so let's say reverse string then i'm going to supply the particular string that i want to okay so let's call it as test it's supposed to be an abstract string so this one you can omit this right in julia julia is very interesting you can omit this one this is the type right so i just omit it it's good it's still going to work but it's becoming more specific so here you can just print the line then I'm just going to reverse it so i'll use the simple method of reversing string which can be reverse then let us do the simplest way but let's be more julianic <laughs> so it's going to be test then to reverse it, it's just going to be end it's like a normal python function then minus one one right so this is how to reverse a particular string I'm just going to reverse any string that is presented. Then let's end our function. So let's save it and then let's run it and see. So I'm just going to go back to my help. So we have grid add and then reverse string. Right. So in case I want to reverse a particular string, so let's go to reverse. Okay, reverse string. The string that I want to reverse is let's say hello. Casper hello. Hello world. So it's going to reverse it perfectly for us. See how it has changed it. Very simple, very interesting. So with this particular option, you can do several things. You can convert any function into a CLI. It's supposed to be only function declarations, not function expression. So if I do a simple function expression like f, the s and then y, this is a function expression. And I even do like s plus y. Even if I bring my main here. Then me, it's not going to work, it's going to give us an error. So let's try that. So we don't do this for this particular package. If you do this, it's not going to work because it's an expression, it's not a function declaration. So it's giving us an error, right? So this, we don't do this, it's not going to work here. So the best way is just to fully declare your function, fully define your function, then you can use, you can use this expression.
So thank you for watching this long tutorial. If you have any question or contribution, I guess please add the comment section. So the basic idea is that you just have to import using the import fire, right? Or using fire, then you bring the main macro, right? The ads access for macro in front of your function. Then you're going to convert that particular function into a CLR. Thank you for watching this long tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it in the comment section below and I check the link below for some interesting courses on Julia. Thank you and stay blessed.